Hello everyone. I am Arun Jalkar. Today we will discuss maximization problems of profit function when text component is given to you in application of differentiation. Example 1. The cost of a product is c equals to x square by 25 plus 3x plus 100 and demand function is x equals to 75 minus 3p. If a tax of t per unit is imposed by the government, determine the output and price that maximize profit. Profit equals to revenue minus cost minus tax, and is denoted by R minus C minus T. R equal to P into X, and the total tax is T into X, small T into X. Put P equals to seventy five minus x upon three, and the cost x square by twenty five plus three x plus hundred. And after simplification, we'll get profit function equals to minus twenty eight x square by seventy five plus twenty two x minus t x minus hundred. Now differentiate respect to x. First derivative equals to minus fifty six x upon seventy five. Plus only two minus t. Put first derivative equal to zero in order to find maximum or minimum points. When we put first derivative equal to zero, we'll get the value of x twenty two minus t multiplied by seventy five whole divided by fifty six. Now the double derivative. Double derivative is minus fifty six by seventy five. Since double derivative is negative, so maximum profit at x equals to twenty two minus t. Whole multiplied by seventy five divided by fifty six, and p. If we want to calculate p, put the value of x in demand function, and after calculation, we will get p equals to two thousand five hundred fifty plus seventy five t divided by one sixty eight. Or we can say that it is equal to four twenty five by twenty eight plus twenty five by fifty six t. So at this point, we will get maximum profit. If in the last example we also find out the tax rate that maximizes tax revenue to the government. Now we know that uh, we already calculated profit. Is maximum at x equals to twenty two minus t multiplied by seventy five by six. Now tax tax is t to x. Put the value of x here. We'll get tax function to seventy five by fifty six minus into twenty two t minus t square. Differential respect to small t seventy five by fifty six into twenty two minus two t. Put first derivative equal to zero to find maximum or minimum points. When we put first derivative equal to zero, we'll get the value of t equals to eleven. Now the double derivative. Double derivative is seventy five by fifty six into minus two. If we check at t equals to eleven, the answer is minus seventy five by twenty eight, which is less than zero. So maximum tax revenue at t equals to eleven. So when we charge eleven rupees per unit tax, we'll get maximum revenue.